Hi, my name is Ted. I'm with the Rosendale Community Theater, and I'd like to welcome you to the fourth film in our series of Italian cinema classics. Uh, this film will be one of Federico Fellini's last films called Antevista. And my good friend and colleague, Professor Howard Menikoff, will give you some details. Howard, it's all yours. Oh, thank you. I'll be talking about uh, Intervista, a 1987 film by uh, Federico Fellini. It was next to the last films he ever made. It stars Sergio Rubini, Federico Fellini himself, Marcello Mastriani, and Anita Ekberg. Um, this was, some people called it a lighter eight and a half. Um, again, it was a film about making a movie. It's a film about a director. Um, there are many, many similarities to, to that. Essentially, it was the first time Fellini ever made a movie that was not scripted. Basically, he had a bunch of sketches and a bunch of ideas and a notebook, and he decided to put them together in a loosely described film. Um, at times, Fellini described it as a pleasant chat among friends that I filmed. Um, there are uh, three points to the film. One, it's a tribute to the Cincinnati Studios. It was their 50th anniversary, and I will give you a little background about the uh, um, in 1937, Mussolini decided he wanted to build the largest and greatest film studio in Europe, which he proceeded to do. And he wanted to put Italian films uh, back on the map. Um, oddly enough, uh, during the war, the studio was first bombed and then it was turned into a refugee camp. And in 1945, when the uh, neorealism broke in with the Rossellini's film, uh, the early, the early, those films were not filmed in, in a film studio. They were low budget uh, films filmed on the street with non-professional actors. And it was when Cinecita was fixed up, it actually became known as Hollywood on, on, in Italy. Uh, they, it was like films like Three Coins in the Fountain, Roman Holiday, uh, The Barefoot Contessa, um, Ben-Hur was filmed there in the early 60s. Uh, the Elizabeth Taylor, Richard Burton, Cleopatra was filmed there. Um, so it became more of a Hollywood studio, but starting in 55, uh, Fellini went to, went, went, started using that studio and eventually it became uh, the home from almost all the Italian film directors after that. Uh, it's personal to Fellini because in 1940, when he was a young reporter, he went to that studio and it really made an impression on him. And that's kind of what this film is about, because besides being a tribute to the film studio, it's a look back. Uh, Rabini plays him in 1940 as a young man trying to interview a movie star. And that's uh, about a third of the film. The other part of the film is it's a documentary or a parody of a documentary about Japanese uh, Japanese filmmakers wanted to interview Fellini. So we have the story of that and Fellini wants to show them how they make a film. It's also, uh, a f it's also a film within a film because Fellini is allegedly making an adaptation of Franz Kafka's America as the base of the film. So we have that storyline, we have the Japanese storyline, and we have the storyline of a young Fellini in 1940. So we have scenes like a 1940s trolley going to this, going into the studio and we see like from a John Ford Weston in the ends on a hill looking like they're about to attack the trolley. It's a whole uh, combination of essentially his love of uh, filmmaking. Um, so, and also he got Marcello Mastriani and Nita Ekberg to uh, watch a screening of their dance scene from eight and a half, and then we see them looking at it. And so basically it was a memory tribute uh, to his own life in a sense. So I hope you enjoy Intervista by Fellini. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Howard. That was fantastic. So. Uh... Uh, yeah, so we hope you all will all enjoy Ante Vista, and uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Ciao.